Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and this is your Week in Tech. Controlio has closed its latest investment round, bringing its total funding to over $1.3 million. London-based Controlio is a marketing startup using data to provide information on customers' buying intentions. Dato, the data backup and disaster recovery solutions provider, has secured $75 million in a round led by technology crossover ventures. Eat First, an online restaurant, has raised $8 million in Series A funding. Since launching in London last year, the company has delivered more than 100,000 meals and is growing 30% month on month. GCHQ has been accused of persistent illegal hacking of phones, computers and networks worldwide. It's involved in an ongoing legal challenge filed by civil liberties group Privacy International and several ISPs. The intelligence service currently have the power to hack under a thematic warrant and, under the draft legislation of the Investigatory Powers Bill, they can undertake bulk equipment interference, which, in layman's terms, means GCHQ can do as much hacking as they want and Privacy International are challenging this level of public surveillance. Tech billionaire Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan say they'll give away 99% of their shares in the company to good causes as they announce the birth of their daughter, Max. They aim to invest $45 billion in creating greater health, education and equality around the world. Zuckerberg joins the likes of Bill and Melinda Gates, who have invested $21 billion in good causes, and Warren Buffett, who has also contributed $15 billion. Our download of the week is Cabby. Cabby lets you instantly compare fixed prices for more than 60 leading London cab fleets. You can compare based on price, time, location and the type of car. And finally, some students in Scotland have come up with a tax solution to overspending. The smart slot for your credit card warns you to put it back if you remove it from your bag. I'm not sure if it's a foolproof plan, but no one wants to be told off by an old bag in public. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.